Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURDY at checkout for 5% off. What's going on, guys? Today we got episode number 31 of the I Rate Your Team series. And today I have an announcement. Today we are updating the grading scale once again. Um, I've noticed you know, there's been a couple comments I've been seeing, you know, about the grades and I would I actually tend to agree I, I you know the, the original scale was the original scale because I used to get bad teams sent to me so you know we needed those lower numbers but these days we just get a bunch of good teams and the numbers are kind of like always nine two eight nine nine two occasional nine five and then maybe a ten in there but we're gonna be updating the um the grading system to a slam dunk if you watch the slam dunk contest that kind of system no decimals strictly whole numbers that is how we are now grading and also the scale is going to be much stricter you're going to have to sacrifice family time you have to sacrifice plenty of things in order to get a 10. it's not going to be easy to get a 10. It, you're, it's like when i see your team i'm gonna have to be able to tell like this guy hasn't showered or gone outside in at least two weeks that's how you're gonna get a 10. simple as that so of course if you want a chance to be a part of episode number 32 make sure you follow me on twitter link in the description right there right there and you see on the bottom line of that tweet right there it says bonus grading team's first hour of stream tonight come through hey friday every friday friday when this tweet goes live friday night's first hour of stream we're waiting teams those teams will not be in the episode but you will still get you know the live i can talk to you in the chat things like that um i would almost argue like a better team rate because i'm able to kind of ask your questions and things like that but let's, let's just get started obviously follow me on twitter this week goes live every friday episodes go live every sunday let's get into it first team is obviously going to be a troll it's a job application that clearly terrified me um either way we, we got victor's team victor with a 50 50 49ers which is a i think right now the best team team in the game is a niner steam team and he got 25 25 super bowl he sent me this team earlier in the week earlier in the week on twitter um it did look pretty good i, I would say I mean, really, no. The way, like, see, see, this wouldn't be a ten because he's not. He's like missing guys like Mike Evans. You know what I mean? Like Mike Evans on this team would go crazy. I wouldn't even say like Puka would go crazy. Um, even over probably there's Justin Jefferson. The one, the one that's kind of tough is that Justin Jefferson's free, so it makes sense to use him. Marshall Lynch in the Super Bowl team. I don't hate it. We got Bo Jack right there. We got Dalton Schultz, of course, for full Niners. And then we got Stephon Gilmore. I think. I don't know what the move is right now, but I feel like going a full theme team is definitely pretty good because of these 32 team chem players that we're going to start seeing, but or, or we've been seeing, but it does look pretty solid. And again, like a guy like, you know, this could, this could be a 10 potentially if you had a guy like Kyle Hamilton or, you know, you know just kind of those names. Um, he does have Carl Loftus. He does, he is, he's going run stopper on Warren Sapp. I would go 100%, go unstoppable force over the run stuffer that warren sap gets um but really outside of that looks pretty good and then he's the mid zone x factor on shabarius war which i guess makes sense i don't know where else you really would put it uh maybe you could go dual threat on bow maybe dual threat bow would make sense um i believe rashad even like rashad jones i would probably because rashad jones doesn't i think get niners chems for this rashad because why else would you have rashad jones does rashad jones get niners games i don't think he does i don't i don't remember him being a niner no he wasn't a niner okay so uh, in this spot i would probably go with a guy like you know justin simmons get rid of the mid zone on Travis ward put reinforcement on um justin simmons he's taller he's faster i think he's just a better card but this team right here i think this team I think this team is, again, we're going slam dunk grades, slam dunk scores. I think I'm going to give this team, I think it's a strong eight. I think it's a strong eight. That's what I'd say about this team. I think it's a strong eight. I think he's just missing too much to be one step from being a 10. So I would say strong eight for um, my man Victor's team. Next up, we have Core Angels team, of course, Bucks Dean team. We see this team a lot. Uh, I'm just going to probably just try giving it a grade here. We've seen this team pretty much, I don't know, you know, Twitter feeds me, feeds me. Um, this team right here. So, a Buccaneers team. And did we get any nice updates for Bucks? Obviously, Mike Evans, Pittman, Leggett, Josh Jacobs, Bo Jackson. If you are over, yeah, th this should just be Bo Jackson. Like, you know, don't get cute with Josh Jacobs. I know he gets their team cams, but just use Bo Jackson running back as well. Um, it looks pretty solid. Uh, this team right here, again, it's full, full 50 50. He's got 98 speed Pittman, 99 speed Mike Evans, um, 90. 
eight speed i think will get um if i, I just would want, want to see barry there O line looks pretty good defense drc ronde barber legend chedube was away we got nate wiggins justin simmons anton winfield jagger brown ryan neal again this team is, i'm gonna give this team an eight i'm gonna go eight as well for this squad um pretty good good names good cards good i mean maybe, maybe it might be a week i'm gonna go week eight on this one i'm gonna go week eight week eight week eight that's what i'm gonna give it all right we got a 40 super bowl 30 combine again we are gonna be skipping super bowl teams in today's episode um if they're like full except like full super bowl teams kind of this team you know i'll take a quick glance at it you know what i mean um he does not have all of the greatest show on turf cards which i do think you should do i do think you should go all the greatest show on turf yeah i think you should go i think you should get kirk at backup marshall falk isaac bruce tory hole and i think that right there would be pretty solid for you um just to kind of get those boosts going up and i don't think yeah so he's got super bowl 40 super bowl 30 combine okay so boost there super bowl with the combine um okay justin simmons rashad jair brown carlopis with um colossus there you got warren sap in the middle there as far as the x factors go you're rocking with avalanche on bow i see i would probably i would rather see i would rather see you go and stop before something guy like warren sap or even go reinforcement on justin simmons or rashad jones um, in my opinion and then i think is this, is this one step ahead or is this shade i don't remember what he gets but um this right here is pretty solid i i think good running back good qb chris collinsworth being on the field is a little bit of a head scratcher to me personally but it is what it is it is what it is i, I think this team right here I, i'm gonna lean i think i'm gonna go with another eight on this team i, I mean i changed the rating scale i'm still gonna have the same damn grades but i feel like those teams are all so similar like to, just to get started I, I don't know all right full broncos team 25 super bowl um i believe maybe i've seen this team i've seen this team i saw this team the other day um on stream so we're gonna skip over that one but you know he saw he saw what i said about the team all right 25 out of 50 combine okay okay 25 out of 50 combine okay now we get a team that we can actually not give an eight to thank you thank you to this man um again it's combined so we're getting speed on just nate wiggins on defense chop and on and all on offense he has Bo, he has mcfadden he got leggett he's got rome he's got brock bowers um it seems actually like not awful i, I don't think it's that bad I, I think i'm still gonna give it probably like a five uh week five to a strong four i think that's pretty much where this team ends up i think it's probably more like a, i'll go strong four on that Let's go strong four on this team right here. Let's go strong four. Next up, we got a full Packers team. Okay, 22,000. Wait, geez. 2,050. Wait, wait. Can I read? 250,000 coins. There we go. Matta Beast and David are defensive tackle. Okay. Full pack team. No Raj. No Devante. He's got Dubes. Dobbs. Whatever you want to call him. I, call, I, like, I like Dubes personally. No Christian Watson. MVS. Brock Bowers, Mick Fadden, Jordan Love still at quarterback. Again, plus two speed everywhere he has. Devontae on this side of the ball. No Jair Alexander on either side of the ball. Her battle, he's a stud. Darnell Savage, 97 speed, I think, or 96 speed. Um, Eric Berry, captain, Rudy Ford, um, Parsons, and then no X factors as far as pass rush goes. Um, he does have a couple in the secondary, but uh, or one in the secondary, then a reinforcement on Wildman, it turns out, and comes back. But this team for a 50-50 is... Um, I mean, it, it, like, you have a 50-50, right? But, again, the cards, the, the Packers team, I think, is top five, and you don't have a fully upgraded Packers team. So, um, I think this team's probably going to be, like, a six. Again, you have plus two speed. You're strong in some parts, weak in others. But um, I would go strong six on this team. That's what I'd say for this squad. I, I think you can get, I think, I think you should work on your X factors. I think X factors, having those broken X factors is a key part to this game this year. So, make sure you're definitely using those. Um, and then, you know, you could have Rodgers, you could have Devontae, you could have Christian Watson, but obviously the coin stack is holding you back. And unfortunately, that's going to fall into your ranking. You know what I mean? Or your rating. Uh, Zipper Straw, I saw this team last night as well. Um, I believe I gave it a, I think I gave it a 10. I think I did give this team a 10. Um, if I do remember correctly. Or, yeah, I think, I think I was like, oh, it would really be like a 9-8. But, you know, um, yeah, I, I think I did give this team a 10 last night. But Zipper Straw 
good for you. Uh, I, I make your now lo, you know the picture didn't load in high quality. Can't make it to thumbnail this week, unfortunately. Zipper Pro. Next up, full Packers team again. Um, is this the same team? No, it's different. It's different, but the same. It's different, but like it's like in like a different handwriting. It's just another six. It's like a different handwriting. You know what I mean? All right, we got forty combine. 30 Dolphins. Interesting looking squad here. Why my picture is not loading in higher quality? I don't know. But um, we do got Josh Jacobs on the Dolphins team. Oh, I think I saw this team last night too. I'm not gonna lie. I think we're, I think we're noticing some crossover here. But I do think I saw this team last night. I remember seeing Dan Marino and being sick to my stomach. I think I saw this team last night. If I didn't, I'm sorry, but I swear I did. I swear I saw this team on stream. Um, full Panthers team. The camera glare going crazy. Um, we got Chadoob. We got Charles. We got Brian Burns, Stephon Gilmore, Jared Allen, Kyle Ham. Wait, hold up. Let him cook. Wait, wait. Let this guy cook one time. When I saw Panthers team, I'm thinking this team got to be weak, but let this dude cook. Okay. Okay, the one thing I just don't like is the missing, like, no X Factor, really. That, like, like, pass rush wise, you know what I mean? Or, like, you know, you have, no, no, there's no, like, pre-lit X Factor on this defense. I just, that's, like, the one thing keeping you probably from, like, a higher score. Mike Evans, Puka, Steve Smith, McCaffrey, Doug Will, who wasn't a Panther, but is, is he going to be a cheat? And I would definitely use Bo over Doug Williams, just saying right now. I would get Brock Bowers. That could be Dalton Schultz. I think Dalton Schultz is a worthy upgrade for sure. Um, I guess a Greg Olson upgrade could be coming. He's got Kevin Dotson, Michael Wenu. Okay, wow. This team is. Like, this is a full theme team, but he barely cut any corners. You know what I mean? Like, he barely cut the corners. I would just say, yeah, the only problem is the lack of, like, broken X factors to me. Um, which is cr kind of crazy to say. But, you know, no angry runs hurts, hurts you right off rip. Uh, like, no yak em up or no Vanguard on any of your players. Or even, you know, no, um, I mean, I guess, like, the QB, you have Gunslinger. Just use what you want. But, um, I get, like, Bo's X factors, like, it's, it's Conductor, it's Playmaker, it's Hot Route Master all in one. Um, but I think that I think just a lack of X factors hurts you. Um, if you are on last gen for whatever reason, which I don't think you are, then okay, I guess I guess stick with it because I don't think they get like the lit of stuff. I don't know really, but I think that's what you got to try to key in on. To be honest, I think that's the play here. Like try to get some blitz, try to get some uh, not blitzes, colossuses or unstoppable forces. You get more of them, or even reinforcements in, uh, in the secondary. You can find a way to put those guys into your specialist tab. That's what I would say. But other than that, team looks pretty good. I think this team is gonna be an eight i think it's an eight but like it's like a very strong eight like it, it, like if you have a couple more x factors a couple more guys in there that are getting sneaky on defense or offense like an angry runs or something like that it could be a nine like with a panthers team which is crazy obviously you kind of spent a lot to get the free agency cards but still it works you know what i mean it definitely works next up we got 40 out of 50 ravens team okay 40 out of 50 ravens the first thing i would say is it's not hard to get 50-50 with a bunch of cheats. I have a 50-50 Jets team with a 25 combine team. So there's no excuse why you shouldn't have full Ravens. I, I think you got to have full Ravens. Um, I think it has to be done, really. It, it, like, it'll make Puka that much better. Um, but you should be able to do it. Like you, Whether you're using captains for X chems, you can upgrade captains to 85s and they get 2x whatever team chem you want. So make sure you're upgrading the captains. I mean, even if you get up to like a 98 or, or sorry, 96, I believe they get 3x chems. Make sure you have all the uh, you know the team builders. Whether I don't know who the who the the Ravens are, but make sure you have the team builders and just try to find um, you know those cards. It might, might be a sneaky card that kind of gets two X Ravens chems. You never know. And then also make sure you have the the purple strat card for the Ravens. So I would say try to get 50 50 Ravens, and you'll still be able to have cheats if you build the team correctly. You should still be able to, um, and like run really whoever you want. But I like Aaron Donald. I like Chris Jones. You got Fearmonger. Again, no, like, again, pass rush. You've got to have at least one pass rush X Factor, in my opinion. I, I think you just have to. And I don't even like this X Factor for Cam Chancellor. Um, I would almost say, you know, I, like, I, I, I really do feel like, I feel like Justin Simmons is better. I feel like Justin Simmons is definitely better than Rashad Jones. I would, if you have zone KOs on Rashad Jones that you like, just get rid of Rashad Jones, go get Justin Simmons, take off Cam Chancellor's X Factor, and that right there is already an upgrade to me. That's already an upgraded swap right there. But I like Sauce Garner, I like Dominique, Rogers, Camardi, and Sertain. But I guess the problem is you're not really using that many Ravens, right? I mean, the Ravens got some decent upgrades today. Uh, uh, you know, with um, Ed Reed, you know what I mean? Like, kind of getting that is nice. But even the Kyle Hamilton's are super expensive. But, yeah, I mean, you, you could even use some 32-team chem guys. Gilmore, 
to do if you wanted to you know what i mean you could always go down that route but definitely get ed reed definitely get ed reed um on this team but i think you should try to get full ravens just make sure you have all the 2x chems the strat cards are on point all that stuff and you'll be and you'll be looking much better so as far as the team grade on this one um air mcnair i think this team is probably gonna end up being a six i think this team's probably a six although he's got like really good names again like the eps factors do play a big part in this year's game and i feel like th i feel like this is like you need the good x factors to really like compete with the guys that are gonna have the good x factors i think this year more than ever they're important just to have a couple of those broken cards um i think it's worth it but even like steve mcnair still being the qb and you know I, I think it makes sense i think it makes sense yeah i'm gonna I'm stick with that i'm gonna stick with that all right next up we got a 60 out of 50 chiefs team this dude is hoping and praying that ea drops 60 60 um you know nfl theme teams that'd be awesome but josh jacobs mahomes you know what i'm gonna you're, you already know what i'm gonna say about josh jacobs you guys already know what i'm gonna say i'm a broken record just just just, just use bow i know josh jacobs has 99 speed on your team but he did bow is so much better michael pittman could be yeah okay michael pittman's not all, like i don't hate michael i don't hate it you know 90 hp i don't I don't, I'm not like a big Michael Pittman guy, so there's some bias there. You know what I mean? I don't know why, but I, I just, I don't know. I've never put on my, you know, I, I, I'm not going to go into my spiel that I was uh, going, going into on stream last night. But Tyreek Hill, Justin Jefferson, Dalton Schultz, all look good. All do look good. Um, we got Stephon Gilmore. We got Legereus and Kendall Fuller as well. This could be Shavarius Ward, right? This should, it should be Shavarius Ward over Kendall Fuller, in my opinion. Um, and then we got, um, Eric Berry, Michael Parsons, of course, all 32. Devin White as the user with Lurker on his damn mid zone. For 2 AP, we got Cameron Curl with flat zone. I think pick, I think pick artist. I think what else what he gets. And then you get Warren Sapp. Okay, this is good. See right here. He's got Colossus and um Warren Sapp's unstoppable force, which are both pretty good. I don't think Chris Jones. I don't believe that, that Chris Jones will get some kind of. I don't think he gets the Colossus that pre lights. He might, but I think it's this one right here. Um, abilities does he get the you know it doesn't pre-light but he gets the ability so that one doesn't move me as much you know what i mean it doesn't really move me but on top of force is nice um, i would say on a chiefs team though like carl loftus should be rostered carl loftus should should have been a priority over like brian burns you know what i mean i think that is almost a no-brainer so as far as this team's great it's 50 50 it's nice but again i think we've seen a lot of these 50 50 theme teams where they're not Full. they're not what they their full potential so i would say um another eight for this team another eight for these full theme teams right here um 50 50 titans and super bowl i know i saw this team last night um full cowboys 25 super bowl i don't know if i saw this team last night or not but emmett aikman yep mike urban so you're able to get the triplets chems right there justin jefferson cd lamb dalton schultz kyle pitts o-line looks pretty good um, i like what i'm seeing right here on offense on defense i'm a little less in love there's guys now like you know you're able to get um uh, trevon Diggs now you know what i mean or uh, stevon gilmore also cowboys i'm a cooker over the top well he's kind of phasing but it's a full theme team it's not the end of the world in super bowl right 25 super bowl so you got super bowl there as well i, I don't know if you have herbis split yeah i don't think you have herbis split cams if you do somehow have another pass pass super bowl you can actually split the cams on herb and then Give them Super Bowl and Cowboys, and that's pretty glitchy. But Herb, uh, um, yeah, Herb is, Herb is a crazy card. But yeah, Blitz on Carlotta is unstoppable for us. That's what I mean. I like that a lot. I like what I'm seeing there. I'm um, missing that third X factor on defense. Definitely make sure you're utilizing that. Uh, it could be on Herb. I, I, Herb's probably the only guy that would probably get another, an extra ability. But uh, Or even Chuck, I think, can get an ability there. But looks pretty solid. I think this team, um, I am leaning. I'm, I think it's just another, I think it's another eight. I think it's just another. I would say it's a weaker eight. It's a weaker eight for this team with the guy like Nate Wiggins. I think it's a weaker eight. Oh, no, never mind. He has Matabuka. My bad. I didn't see that. So three X factors there. Okay, it's still, still going to be a, a weaker eight for this team either way. What we at right now? We're at 19 minutes. All right, so we're going to do one more team. Um, I don't want to skip anybody, though, but we'll just quick. We'll do a we'll just, we'll just run through a, quick, a, a couple real quick. Anthony Richardson, Colts team, not 50-50. Make sure you get the 50-50 as fast as possible. Um... But with a guy, with, with, like with a team with the like the Colts, it's tough to do that. Like I, like if I saw this defense, I wouldn't even be able to tell it was a Colts team team, and that's tough. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't even be able to tell it was a Colts team. How is this a Colts team? How did you do this? 
How is this actually a Colts team? Maybe because of all these 2X guys here. I'm surprised it even is. I'm surprised it even is. But the way it looks right now, I got to give it like a 7. I think it's a 7 for this team. All right, full Eagles, full Eagles. Okay, I just cannot see the picture. We're going to have to skip that one. Uh, Super Bowl team, ass squad. Is he saying that having a Super Bowl team is ass? Is that what he's trying to say? The plus two speed everywhere. Obviously, Super Bowl is very good. Um, it's a little like budget-ish. You know, he doesn't really have like, he doesn't have the Carl offices of the world. He doesn't have Javarius Ward. He doesn't have, you know, these like, uh, even Night Train Lane or something like that. So, you know, this team's out. You know, I just probably would say it's like a normal, like a normal-ish theme team. It's probably going to be like a high seven. You know, strong seven to week eight, probably for this team as well. Um, let's finish, let's finish with the no money spent Danger Rust Seasons team. 25 Seahawks, 25 Combine, full Super Bowl. Still trying to get one for under two mil. Okay, so we got Seahawks, Combine, and Super Bowl on this team. Um, McFadden, Bo Jackson, DK, obviously going to be Seattle. Keith Miller is Super Bowl there. Javarius Ward, Herb Adderley, Sauce Gardner. Okay, then we have Combine with Justin Simmons, Jagger Brown, Super Bowl, Chanel, Parsons, Blitz on Carl Loftus, Matt of Beast with Unstoppable Force. Warren Sapp with Unstoppable Force. And you got Chase Young off the other edge. And we got Bo Jackson. Leo Chanel. Looks like probably like a 6-1 setup for sure on this team. DBs look pretty good. This team's, this team's probably... I think this team's probably going to be a 9. It's probably the highest grade of the day so far. Um, I don't really see too many, issues with it, too many issues with this team. I would say the one thing would be Bo over McFadden. But you might not have room to do that. That would be the one thing I would say. But I would probably give this team like a week to mid-9. I think it's a pretty good looking squad for Danger Rust Seasons. We're going to end it right there. Again, episode 31. If you want a chance to be part of episode number 32, make sure you're following me on Twitter. Every Friday, this tweet goes live. And we are now rating teams live every Friday night on Twitch for the first hour of the stream. So again, come through, follow the Twitch, follow the Twitter, have those noties on. And of course, as always, I will see you boys in the next one.